Okay, so welcome to the second part of the making an FPS and play canvas tutorial. Now on this part we're going to work on adding a gun, adding a target and then uh, adding a projectile shot from the gun. So let's start off with adding our gun. I've got some resources which I've just gathered from before like uh, just free models and stuff so I've got a model of a Colt Magnum gun which we're going to use for our gun model on the which will attach to the uh, camera here under the player entity so I'm going to get that I'm going to drag it to where the camera is and now let's just press play see it probably won't be in the right place straight away but we'll just have a look see where it is do, 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 do. Probably need to add. Uh, I've just. I'm not going to worry too much about the textures and stuff. I'm just going to add. Yes, yeah, so it's just like right on top of the minutes, which doesn't look good. It looks more like I'm a tank at the minute. <laughs> so we've got our terrain from before, of course, in the last tutorial. Watch that if you've not seen that. That's how we got movement. So it needs moving down a bit first, initially, definitely. So just move it down. I can also preview it in while I'm moving it in the preview. I think I'll move it a bit to let's just shift that a bit. There we go. Something like this. Move it down. Just want to try and get it into like a, what looks like a natural position for if uh, if um, we were we were actually moving it through the eyes of uh, sort of getting there a bit more. Sort of fiddle this a bit. Yeah, just a bit more. Up, maybe even scale it up a bit, possibly. Almost there now. So that's that. Just plunk the model. Ah, uh, sugar. A oh, bit too much. Where am I? Okay. Forward. That's sort of almost there. I just need to scale it up with the gun up a bit. So we'll get a scale tool, make it a bit bigger. That's a bit too big now. <laughs> Somewhere in between that and that, yeah. Yeah, so now I've got a gun. Uh, I've just textured it with a generic metal texture, I think, before. So that's that. I can move around. And now we've got a gun object at least. But of course we need a target object, which is where we'll be firing our projectiles. So otherwise we need a target. I mean you could skip that, but I think it makes sense to have it. So we need to create like what's called a user interface, which is like a 2D overlay for the player. Uh, which might contain other information as well, like later on, like health uh, and that sort of thing. So let's go to player. User interface, 2D screen, Chris new 2D screen. And then I'm going to add, I've got this just red circle, which I can add as an image element. Select it, texture and circle. Now it's massive at first, but I'll make it 25, 25. Should be right in the center of the screen. There we go, and that's the that's how to get a. Uh, we can make it smaller as well if you want. Even like maybe you want to make it fifteen by fifteen, whatever really suits. That might be a bit better. It's a bit less obtrusive. So now we have um, a gun and a target. So I think we're just gonna have like a little intermission design bit here, and we're gonna add the skybox as well because I think that probably needs doing. And then after that, we'll go into the shooting uh, from the gun, which is going to be a bit more involved. And then that will be the for the second part. And then before we get into the third part, which will be adding the enemies. So I think next you want to make build. The sky is a bit bland at the minute. It just looks bleh. So quickly just do that, I think. Um, so we want to edit the skybox. 
Where is it again? It's somewhere in here, isn't it? Oh yeah. So you have to go into level settings and then we have to actually create a skybox. So bear with me a minute while I just upload some sky. <laughs> I think I've got one something you can use somewhere. Um, Mm -hmm. Some skyboxes I have. So maybe I want to upload something different actually. Maybe red. Ah! Oops. Wrong, wrong thing I did there. I'm supposed to get all of them. Okay. I'm going to create the cube map which will then become our skybox for the level um, and then after that we'll get onto the more in-depth process of actually adding the bullet projectile of shooting from the gun so i'll add the cube map going to call it off online i'm not making my own art that much in this game so drag this drag this drag to the bottom Drag the back. Hopefully this will work. Come on. There we go. So go to the level settings. Switch to this. Come on. that'll work now. We should have a nice sky. Nice night sky. If it works. Fingers crossed. Yeah, there we go. So now we've got a nice glorious blue sky in our desert. We've got a target, we've got a gun. It's looking a bit better. Looks a bit like more like a sort of game started to come about, develop. And yeah, I've got this nice seamless skybox up there. So let's get on to the bullets now. Okay, so I've just been working a lot on the shooting functionality and it's just got it working, so I'll just walk through this. So this is it. So you basically just see it clones a object which is the bullet and then shoots it off into the distance there's no um, explosion from the gun yet but we'll probably add that later but let's just cover how to add the uh, projectile first it's took me a little while to figure out completely how to do it but got we'll there eventually so we can also add a sound at this point probably as well but we'll get on to that in a second so we'll just get it to it's basically shooting off this uh, ball bullet thing and then applying a force to it and f pushing it forward okay so what have I done here so first things first we've created a bullet object which is just an entity of bullet disabled at first it's a uh, sphere very small 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 scale it's got a rigid body of dynamic that's probably important that's important to put on there because it's a moving object uh, just standard sort of settings for that so that's that so you um, you add that as an entity underneath your target um, which is important actually uh, okay now the other thing I've done is I've modified the first person script first person movement script so I've added two new attributes test objects and gun power let's just look at this so i'll just talk about what i've done 
like I've I've had to test this a lot while I've been going along. So, so we've got, here we add first person attributes. Uh, let's zoom in a bit. Test object type entity and gun power type number. So, test object is the bullet basically um, that we want to select. So in this case, the sphere that we created just now. Uh, gun power is for the the power of the bullet, how fast it's going to go basically. And the stuff we need to pay attention to here is so where we had before app mouse on mouse down I want to do it so that, that triggers the shooting event so I've just I've got a console log there which I can get rid of now but uh, we want to we want to add a, fun, a uh, reference to the method shoot function shoot which is defined on here this is the new main part we're looking at it's probably still a bit uh, messy at the minute because I was just playing through and that's another method I tried but uh, anyway so we've got a reference to our script shoot function so what's happening here that's just the console.log I was doing before so we can get rid of that so this variable here takes the attribute test object clones it adds to the, the child to the game the player entity and well that I say well, I think I do still need that maybe but the var gun what I've done is I've uh, we have our gun object, which is, this is important probably actually to remember as well. So, because I want the it to fire from the gun, uh, that's how I've done it. So we've got gun, and then I'm just grabbing it by name. App, find root, find, app root, this app root find by name gun. Then I'm defining a new force, copy the force gun forward, and then the scale of the forces, uh, so basically are they, how powerful the forces is, the attribute they've added before, gun power. Then the position is the position of the gun and the direction of the force is forward. So there we've got direction gun forward, bullet set position, the position of the gun. Uh, enable it to true and then we apply the impulse, which is the force uh, here. And that just creates this so then now uh, we'll have a bullet coming from the position of the gun so I can shoot up I can shoot down I'll just the bullets are a bit big probably but that's that's sort of that and then if, uh, I guess I can add a sound so I'll quickly do that next okay so finally for this part we'll just add a sound for the um, when the bullets fired, so I'll add, uh, I'll add a create just downloaded a generic magnum sound. I'll upload this 22 magnum. There we go. Sounds like that. I don't want three of them, but whatever for now, it's fine. Just pull it. Create new. So I often have to add sound. Twenty-two magnum. Yes, not over. We don't want it to auto play. I think I need to also add an audio listener on the player. I remember. Yep. So that means that the positional audio can work. Now to add the sound, I'm going to have added a new. On the player, I've added the component, and I'll just add the sound. Call it gunshot. Yada yada yada. It 
Sensity Sound Play Gunshot. Swing before, save all files. Now, hopefully, this will work and we'll get a gunshot sound along with our uh, bullet firing off. Oh, we got muted there. That would help. There we go. It's a bit dodgy because I need to cut the sound a bit, but it plays the sound, which is good. So that's, uh, yeah, like it's free, for some reason it's free gunshots when it needs to be worn. So I'll fix that and then that's basically that. So what we have now is we have our gun in place. We've got our uh, bullets being, projectiles being shot out. I probably need to get them to destroy themselves after a certain amount of time, but that's basically that for this part of the tutorial. We've, got, we've done a skybox, we've done a bunch of other stuff. We've got sound and we've got a gun. So we've got the sort of building blocks now for our FPS in terms of the player. Obviously we can add health and stuff later. But next episode will of course be enemies. I'll try and figure out a way of adding some basic AI and also colli collisions. So that when you shoot an enemy they... Uh, they get injured or likewise they can damage you but yeah that concludes this part of the tutorial part two it's been useful i've even learned a lot as well i've always struggled in the past with the adding of the bullets and stuff in play canvas but yeah anyway uh, i'll make the project public now so you can view the source code as well so if you want to have a look at the actual project you can just go into the editor and mess around with it I hope it's been useful i've been no honored uh, like and subscribe if you like this and then uh, yeah watch out for the next episode which will probably be in at least a week i guess maybe sooner